so let's start by marking the middle between the eyebrows and I will stick this measurement sticker that will help me to build the shape of the bra I'm so used to it so it's kind of easy for me as much as you're gonna do it it's gonna be that easy to you also before I started I was asking her exactly what does she like and sometimes I tell them to show me some pictures of eye and eyebrows that they like I'm cleaning the extra hair around the eyebrows and I will do the other one also these stickers um, guide me and I'm use it, using her as a tool you see I'm seeing where is my start line begin that's even kind of fun to do it I'm going to make I'm going to make sure that she's liking the the shape and if she likes them we can start This pencil is amazing. Look how easy. Um, if I want to erase something, I do it uh, quickly. Okay, let's take off the sticker. She liked that shape. I choose my colors. And I'm starting to build my strokes. So here I am stretching very, very, very good. Each time I'm taking a small amount of pigment um, and I'm working very clean I'm not in a rush look each and every stroke I'm taking a small amount of pigment my strokes are not too um, straight not too curved they're perfectly perfectly done and I'm trying to follow her natural hair the direction of her uh, natural hair I have choose to work with Louis de Eleven and a little bit from Black Diamond. I also added a drop from 24 Karat just to make it like more warm but still um, not too warm like not on a base of red very natural base now I'm starting to add some more strokes in the upper um, part of the eyebrow I'm putting some more strokes on the core on the core line and from here my strokes direction is changing I 
look when I'm stretching I'm not touching in the shape I don't want to mess my surface you can see I'm not putting a lot of pressure I'm working very gentle and it's even doesn't pain me and my client are speaking during the procedure she's feeling comfortable and from this part from the arch, arch part I'm even uh, put less pressure because this uh, area is very thin compared to the other uh, area of the bra. Also noticed how I hold the blade. I hold it very straight and I'm walking with the tip of the blade, of the blade. When I'm doing the tail of the eyebrow, I'm stretching differently. I will add some more here in the beginning. Beautiful. Let's start the other one. Look, I didn't touch the first eyebrow that I finished because it can help me to see how I uh, build the strokes. And now I will do the uh, same way. I will try to copy and paste as much as I can to make it as much as uh, similar. That's why for me it's so important to walk uh, clean, not the mess the shape, and I wanna see all the strokes. Wow, I'm having so much fun. Look how fun it is. And even we laugh, she feel comfortable. She's not bleeding cause it's very important not to push the blade, not to put, put that much of a pressure. We have a perfect pigments that allowed us to work gently. We don't have to um, press and put some hard pressure, no, put gently, you're gonna see the strokes immediately. She have also such a beautiful skin. It's not too oily, not too dry, perfect skin, normal. She's gonna have perfect result. Look, I'm not going inside of the lines of the shape. You see how the direction is changing. One after another. one after another do not cross um, the strokes they need to follow each other 
look well from um, f look the, the the way I'm stretching here in the tail. I'm stretching from the side of the eye. Look. Perfect. Now I will add a little bit more here in the beginning. Perfect. Now I can mess it up. I'm going to massage the area. All the pigment gonna get inside. I clean everything. I'll add some anesthetic. Our gone. I can see clearly my uh, strokes from the first pass. And I will sit my client on a chair again in front of the mirror and I will draw the shape again. It's a it's very important step. I know you've been all seeing the strokes but please don't skip on that part because that part is going to give us maximum result because i want to pay attention to the shape of the bra even more than how the strokes looks because in the end of the day what uh, the customer sees and what other people sees is the shape so let's do it the right way Let's put attention on the shape. Perfect. And it's very, it's very quick and easy because you already see most of the shape because you see the um, strokes. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. Let's do second pass. Okay. Now look how do I feel each and every stroke. I put a little bit of pigment and I'm going back and forth very like slowly. Touching, not touching. It's like I'm massaging the stroke with the pigment. I'm also putting my focus and my attention on the arch and it's very important uh, that I'm on the lines that I draw. Look, I'm, I'm really paying attention to walk on the lines and then the shape going to be so beautiful afterward. I'm stretching very, very good. I'm working with the tip of the blade and my blade is, is like, um, I'm holding my blade very straight. Look, he's not laying down. I'm not walking with the side of the blade. I'm walking with the tip of the blade. How do I know that my pressure is perfect? I'm not seeing any blood that it's good, I mean not heavy blood. You can see some little bit of blood, but like, like dots of blood, not dripping blood. And my client is very comfortable because of the anesthetic. She cannot feel anything. Now she's really relaxed, I can feel my strokes, comfortable. I have some good lining, so I see every stroke. Sometimes I'm moving the hair to the side because I want to see clearly my strokes. Sometimes I'm asking myself what I love better, the first pass of stroke or the second pass of strokes. 
I don't even know because it's so much fun. Look how do I stretch and I'm moving the hair to the side. Make sure you go right on the same strokes. I don't want to look, I don't want the result gonna look like shade. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other eyebrow right now. It's going so good. The pigment, the pigment is perfect for her. about to finish I always leave them um, my clients with the mask of the pigment that I have used for at least 20 minutes sometimes I prefer more but it gives it to this boot like it gives it like a boost of pigment that get inside of the strokes you probably know that massage the pigment all over even you can put some a little bit of pressure that will help i'm gonna clean i will see if I'm satisfied, if I need to go through another time or not. Wow, it's so beautiful, it looks so natural. So nice, like she wanted, very natural, I love it.